Welcome back to Fast Gadgets. So what we're going to talk about today is the concept of obsolescence in computer technology. Now it can be different depending on which company we're talking about, but in this case we're referring to Apple. So if you are the owner of Apple products, Apple has a very interesting way of determining what obsolescence means. So let's look at Apple's actual web page uh, where they list a couple of things. One, they explain what vintage means and what an obsolete product is and they also tell you which products are obsolete. So we're gonna look at this list and we're gonna find out if your product is obsolete. First of all, vintage products are products that have not been manufactured for more than five years but less than seven years ago so they're in between that five to seven year range um, and what they're basically saying is for those particular products Apple has discontinued hardware service unless uh, there's a couple of exceptions one exception is the product was purchased in the country of Turkey the other possibility is that you purchased the product in the state of California uh, this is a statute that's required by the state of California. So if you're one of those lucky people and you have an older system, guess what? Your system is still covered. So good news there. Um, then they go on to obsolete products. Now obsolete products are any products that have been discontinued uh, in the last, well actually uh, more than seven years ago. So any product, regardless of what it is, if it's been seven years and it's on this particular list, it's obsolete and unfortunately you cannot get it repaired so now we've looked at what Apple thinks obsolete and vintage is but in reality what is obsolescence so if you had say a 2011 MacBook Pro which incidentally has just joined the vintage list but for all practical purposes it basically means it's obsolete so if we look on this list here if you have a MacBook Pro 13 inch early 2011, is it obsolete? Uh, according to Apple, yes, it's obsolete. So basically that system is not gonna be able to have repairs done by Apple, even if you are willing to pay for them. Now there are third parties that do repair. Uh, some of them have YouTube channels that you can watch and you can take them in to have them repaired. So in that way they're not obsolete now the other thing is these systems as far as obsolescence and usefulness goes I do not consider obsolete and I will say that the MacBook Pro 13 inch early 2011 is not considered obsolete and I will grab one that I have right here so I have a case on this so don't mind the case on it but uh, I have a MacBook Pro 2011 that actually works really great. Um, if you watch my video that just came out about uh, rendering times for a MacBook Pro 2008, 2011, and a 2015, I was very surprised at the processor and subsystem capabilities of the MacBook Pro 2011 13 inch. So, just because Apple says it's obsolete doesn't make it obsolete. Um, my particular MacBook Pro 2011 really can do every single thing I need it to do. Um, when compared to my 2015, the newer model that I have, the two things that the newer model has going for it, one is still in the warranty period, still covered for repairs. Uh, I can still buy Apple Care for it, which I have not done. Uh, say what you will but I'm not a big fan of purchasing uh, extended warranties so and I, I don't know what your opinion is in your experience but I usually never purchase extended warranties on TVs or laptops or other pieces of equipment I'm very very careful with my equipment like this MacBook Pro 2011 here um, I have a uh, it's it's a semi rigid plastic case that I keep it in um, I have a foam case that I put it in when I travel and then I take that foam case and put it in my foam protected computer backpack that is designed for
carrying this type of equipment. I keep liquids away from it. I keep uh, food away from it and I'm very, very careful with my system. So um, I like to make sure that, you know, if it gets a bump or whatever, I really don't have too much to worry about. So my experience has been take care of your equipment. Don't work, worry about the extended warranties. That isn't the case if there's a defect. So do a little research before you buy a new computer of any type and see if there's been uh, any bugs or issues with that particular model. And then going forward, you kind of have an idea of whether or not you really need that extended warranty. So uh, anyway, the 2015, the big differences are I can get the warranty, which I don't care for. It is thinner and lighter, which I do like. It has a higher resolution screen than my 2011. The 2011, of course, is not a Retina uh, MacBook, so it's just a standard screen, uh, which is great. I mean, it's good enough. Um, and what else? Uh, well, the 2015 can take the latest version of Mac OS. Now, that is the case for the 2011 as well. The 2011 does support the newest version of Mac OS. So, something to consider. For right now, it does, I should say. So, you can look at this list and find out, is my system on here? Now, I've got a couple of other systems that are also joining the list of obsolescence and one of those is my iMac 2008 uh, I think it's 20 inch that I bought for my wife um, it's a core 2 duo the cool thing is though I only paid 80 bucks so kinda hard to complain it's doing everything I needed to do works great um, then we go so this first list here was the vintage products and our second list here is Mac products that are completely obsolete. So worldwide, no matter where you take it, nobody's going to fix it, at least not in Apple land. So you would have to find a third party that would do a repair. Um, and there's quite a few on this list here. Um, I have a MacBook Pro 2008 that's on this list. So, you know, I do my own maintenance. And again, um, how you care for your computers really says a lot basically and how long it's going to last and do the things you need it to do what kind of extremes that it operates under are you doing heavy editing are you playing heavy duty games on it um, you know those kind of things can definitely detract from the overall lifespan of a computer so if you're an average user and you're thinking I'm gonna go out and buy the new MacBook Pro 2016 it's possible you don't even need the latest and the greatest. You could get away with a uh, used or uh, refurbished model that's a 2013, 2014, 2015. That'll do every single thing you need it to do and maybe get the Retina model and it'll be a little bit lighter and you'll find you're very satisfied with it and you can still get the warranty on the refurbs. Um, or the older models so that's something to consider so that's what all this talk is about obsolete and vintage products basically if it's on the vintage list consider it obsolete everywhere unless you're lucky enough to be in Turkey and California in which case uh, kudos to you but you can have a look at this anytime and see if your product joins the obsolete list does it mean that your product's obsolete and you should go out and replace it? Absolutely not. It's kind of like saying I bought a car and it comes with a five-year warranty. I drove it for five years. I really like it. And, you know, five years is up, so my car must be obsolete. You're still driving it and it still works great, so why replace it? My two cents. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you did. Give it a share if you really liked it. And I'll see you next time on Fast Gadgets.